In this video lesson I'm going to share with you how to download and install Apache Tomcat on Windows machine, how to configure Tomcat admin user, and how to configure Windows Firewall and Tomcat Manager application so that your Tomcat Manager application can be accessed from a remote computer. I tried to make this video lesson as simple and as detailed as possible, but if you guys still have questions, please comment below and let me know what do you need help with. I do not have Windows 10 machine on my own, so I had to start up one on Amazon EC2, but I hope it works exactly as your Windows machine. And if you're interested to learn how to start your own Windows machine in Amazon Cloud, please uh, mention it in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video tutorial for you. So to download Apache Tomcat, I will go into a browser window and I will Google for download Apache Tomcat. There will be a few results and I want to look for the one that is from tomcat.apache.org. So I'll click on this one, Apache Tomcat welcome. And on the left side here, I will have a download section where I have a few versions of Apache Tomcat. Which Apache Tomcat version to download will depend on the Java version you have on your computer. So to look up which version you need, click on this link, which version, and here you can look up and compare Apache Tomcat version with the Java version you have on your computer. I'm running Java 8 and later, so I can download Apache Tomcat version 9. All right, so I will click on Tomcat 9 from the left side here, and I have a download page. I will scroll down a little bit here and under binary distributions, I see here a few different options for me to choose from. I want to download the one for Windows. So there is 32-bit, there is 64-bit, but those are zip files. I want to download the one which is both for 32 and for 64-bit Windows installer. So I'll click on this link and download will begin. Once the file is downloaded, you can click on it to start it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this option here and I will choose open when done and I will wait for it to start up. All right, so the download is complete and I got back this welcome to Apache Tomcat setup installation wizard. So I'll click on next to continue. Then I will look through the agreement and then I'll click on agree. And from the drop-down menu here, select the type of the install. I want to choose from normal to full and then make sure that all these options are selected. Now I will click on next and I'm not going to change anything here unless I want Tomcat to be running on a different port. I want my Tomcat to be running on port 8080, so I will leave these things unchanged except I can set up a user right away. So if you want to set up Tomcat admin user, you can provide username and password right away. So I will provide username Sergey and password Sergey. And the roles that this user will have are admin-gui and manager-gui. These roles will allow me to deploy web applications to my running Tomcat when the installation is complete. So I will click on next. And here you'll need to provide a path to your Java runtime environment. If you do not have Java installed on your computer, you will need to install Java. I do have Java installed and I will choose the location of the version that I want to use. I have actually installed JDK and under JDK, there is a GRE folder, Java runtime environment. So I'll select this folder and I'll click on OK and I will click on next to continue. Now I can provide destination folder where I want Apache Tomcat to be installed on my Windows machine. I will leave this unchanged and will let Tomcat to install to program files and then Apache Software Foundation and then Tomcat 9.0. So I'll let Tomcat to be installed into this directory and we'll click on install. And now installation is complete. I can run Apache Tomcat right now, or I can view the show readme file. I will uncheck both of this and I'll show you how to run Apache Tomcat manually. So I'll click on finish. And to start up Apache Tomcat, I will go to an Explorer window. This is File Explorer. And then I will go to Program Files. So that's um, Drive C and then Program Files. 
and there should be a folder Apache Software Foundation. So I'll go to this folder and there should be Tomcat 9 and in the Tomcat 9 folder there should be a bin folder. So I'll click on this bin folder and we'll look for two files Tomcat 9 and Tomcat 9W. So these are the two files that I'm interested in. To start up Tomcat, I can simply double click on this Tomcat 9 file and that will bring in the terminal window and I can see the progress of Tomcat startup. Now once Tomcat started, I can bring browser window and I can go to localhost port number 8080. Localhost port number 8080 and click on enter. And that brings in Apache Tomcat page. Now I can continue and open up Apache Manager page, which I can use to deploy Java applications. So the address is localhost port number 8080, then um, forward slash manager forward slash HTML. And now I'll need to provide username and password, which I provided during the Tomcat installation. These are the username and password of Tomcat admin user. So the username and password that I've selected was Sergey and Sergey, and then I click on sign in. All right, so Tomcat started, but that's not all. Let's uh, go back to this terminal window and close it. So I will close it, and by closing it, I'm also stopping Tomcat. So if I refresh this page now, it will not work, the page is no longer found. Now I will go back to this file window and I will double click on Tomcat 9. W and what this helps me, it helps me to start and stop Tomcat. And I can also provide how do I want to start Tomcat automatically or manually. I will select as manual. Using this properties window, I can start up Tomcat as a service. So once I click on the start button, it will start up Tomcat as a service and I'll be able to see it in the list of services on this Windows machine. All right, so Tomcat started and I can try accessing Tomcat page again by refreshing the window and I see Tomcat started. And if I click on stop here in this properties window, that will stop Tomcat service as well. All right, so we know how to start and stop Tomcat. Now let's learn how to change Tomcat user. To change username and password, I'll need to go back to File Explorer and then go back to Tomcat folder and look for folder that's called config or conf. I'll go there and then I'll need to look for Tomcat users XML document and I'll do right mouse click and open it with notepad. When setting up Tomcat initially, we provided username and password and what Tomcat did, it created a record here for us with a single user with a username Sergey and password Sergey. So to change password of currently enabled user Sergey, I will need to change the value here. So I can change pass from, from Sergey to Sergey2, for example. And now I will save the file. And after making changes to this file, Tomcat users, I will need to restart Tomcat. So if my Tomcat is started, I'll need to stop it first and start again. But since my Tomcat is not running, I can simply start it and I should be able to log in with a new user password. All right, so Tomcat started. I will bring in this window and I'll refresh it. And I'm prompted to provide a new password and click on sign in. And here we go. Now, there is one more thing that will need to be done. Tomcat is running and is accessible on port 8080. But if I try to access this Tomcat from a different machine, it might not work. So let me try to minimize this remote desktop. I'm connected to my EC2 Windows machine using Microsoft Remote Desktop. So I'll minimize this and you will see that I'm running Mac. All right, so this is my remote desktop to Windows machine. Now I'm going to go to my EC2 instances and I will bring in browser window. These are my EC2 instances and I'm currently running Windows machine. So it's selected. I will copy the address of this Windows machine, the public DNS, and I'll open it up in a new browser window and it doesn't load. If I try to bring in port 8080, then it will not load as well. And the reason for that is firewall that is on Windows machine. So if I go back to my Windows machine and maximize it, I will need to go to Windows and then Control Panel. And in the Control Panel, there is System and Security. I'll click on that. 
and under system and security there is window defender firewall i'll click on that and under firewall on the left side here there is allow app or feature through windows defender firewall so i'll click here and i will add tomcat to this list so i'll click on allow another app and then click on browse and we'll look for tomcat it's here in my program files apache software foundation tomcat 9 and then bin folder so i'll select tomcat 9 and then click on open and then add it to the list now tomcat is added and i can click on ok button so now this windows firewall should allow tomcat to be accessible from remote machines i can test it and i will minimize microsoft remote desktop and i will now bring in a browser window on my mac computer and try one more time now i can access my tomcat from a remote machine let's see if i can access the manager page so i'll add forward slash and then manager forward slash html and hit enter and i'm not able to access manager this is because by default the manager is only accessible from the browser running on the same machine as tomcat and if i increase the font size here it is set in the very first line here so what i'll need to do i will need to edit the context xml file in tomcat manager let's do that i will go back to my remote desktop and i will maximize it and i will bring in file explorer and go back to tomcat 9 folder and then in tomcat 9 there is a folder web apps and in web apps folder there is folder manager and inside of manager there is meta inf and there is context xml so i will open this file in a notepad and here i have xml code snippet which is to configure the remote address valve so i have an ip address range here and i can either add an ip address of my machine here or i can allow all ip addresses to allow access to tomcat manager from my machine i will add a vertical line here and then i will paste an ip address of my computer and now i can save this file and then i will need to restart tomcat so i'll click on stop and then start again and i will go back to my browser window on my mac computer and i will try accessing tomcat from a remote machine now and i'm being prompted for username and password which means it works so i will provide username and password which i have in tomcat users xml file and click on login and now it works now let's go back to our remote desktop again and go back to context xml file of tomcat manager and if you wanted to allow all addresses not only your ip address you would delete this and then provide the following pattern let me increase font size and then type shift 6 to bring up this symbol and then dot and then asterisk and then dollar sign and then let me uh, minimize it again and save this file file save now if i restart tomcat i should be able to access the manager page with no problems and i will start it again all right so i will go back to my mac computer minimize remote desktop bring in mac computer and we'll restart this page and i still have access all right so it is working but if for some reason it doesn't work on your computer please uh, leave a comment below and ask your question